Hey everyone, we're Tom and Bunny with TomandBunny.com. We talk about things that are interesting in the pineapple world. We also talk about our opinions on what works for us in the pineapple world, as well as travel, events, and much other things that we think that you would like to hear about. We work for Tom's Trips, your leader in adult lifestyle travel to destinations all around the world and cruises. And we are the number one booking travel agent for Hedonism Resort in Jamaica. So if you want to go to Hedonism, definitely call us and let us get you booked. And we'll tell you when we're going to go so you can party with us. Yep. All right. That we will. Got my spiel out of the way. Good, good. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about a very touchy subject. It is a touchy subject. So I'm going to let Bunny answer most of it because I'll probably look like a D-O-U-C-H-E. Yeah. Because I'm more direct than Bunny. I, right. <laughs> you are. That you are. <laughs> I like to dance around subjects, and you're just like... So we're going to talk today about smoking mm -hmm. in the pineapple world, mm -hmm. bad breath, Yep. and um, body odor, body odors. and anything else that... Basically anything that... Somebody doesn't know how to address to somebody. And we we don't even know how to address. To. No, no, so, no. Um, to give you a backstory, real quick, I when me and Bunny met, I was a smoker. Mm -hmm. And I smoked for 26 years of our current 38-year marriage, and we've been together 39 years. So 26 of the 39 years, I was a smoker. As and, a, huh? and not only, uh, it, it sounds bad. I mean, everybody, don't slam us. <laughs> we smoked in the house, too. Smoked in the car, smoked in the house. I didn't, as a smoker, I didn't realize how pungent it was. Uh, I didn't realize um, that kissing somebody must have tasted horrible. Mm -hmm. And I today, I feel bad. For anyone I kissed before I quit smoking. Correct. I, I do feel horrible about it because um, recently, and one, one of the reasons why this part of the video got brought up was there's a couple. We really like this couple. And she just reached over and just gave me a deep, deep, deep kiss. They're smokers. Now, I didn't know they were smokers. I never seen them smoke. But it was so, it was so bad, I felt myself, my stomach just turn, and I did everything I could to get out of the situation without offending her. Correct. But correct. I never said anything. No, no. And now the question is, and you can answer this, um, post a comment on our YouTube uh, on this video, should I have said something? And if I, sh if I should have said something, because... People will say, well, how would she know? Well, just, I, I didn't know when I was a smoker. No, you didn't. Mm -mm. And then, But how should I approach it to, because we don't want to lose them as friends, and we still like them a lot. Oh, absolutely. Now, in, in my honest opinion, we were off running off and running somewhere else in a different direction. So nothing was going to go any further than that for the evening. So, to us, it was like, why even say anything? Well, the fact is, is she was a good kisser. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't mind kissing her again. I just avoid it because I don't, the, I didn't realize how, especially right after a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But until someone brushes their teeth, I, I don't even think a breath mint would help that much. I think it helps a little bit. But I think if you're a smoker, brushing your teeth to get all that nicotine and all that off of your gums and tongue and everything, we not just covering it. I do remember back in the I day. I used to brush my teeth. You used to brush your teeth all the time. But back in the day, I don't even think they have them anymore. But they had those little breath strips that you put on yes. your tongue. And you used to. I used to go through those like water. <laughs> and they're probably cancers for all I because know. Because 
at our club, all the girls would come up and kiss him. So right. he always he always constantly I had those. brushed his teeth. They were a little plastic. Yeah. And you popped it open, slid one out, <laughs> put it on your tongue. It burned like hell for about 15 seconds. It was the no, Listerine. No, we'll probably, probably get in trouble for animal abuse. But when we were moving one time, our dog was panting in the car. So I was putting one on her tongue. <laughs> it didn't smell I remember so bad. that. They did but, work, but it, again, it's just a masking. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we were going to go full Monty with them, I think I'd want, I don't want a cover up. I don't, I, I think a cover up would be fine for a kiss, but I think if we are going to go, uh, well, let me ask this question. I mean, okay. If she went down on me, how would you feel after? Oh, I would definitely taste it. And would, would that, that would probably be a, t a situational turnoff because we know I, I, Bunny's never smoked. Mm -mm. I haven't smoked in. But. What? If it, I smoked it, for. No, it's been. I smoked for been, 26 years total. It's been years. It's I been know, years. It's, it's been over 20 years. But even, even for me, I didn't really realize it either because I was always used to kissing you. Exactly. And. We didn't really realize it. We were hanging out with somebody and we stayed over at their place and they smoke in their house and everything. And we're fine being around smokers. We have no, have no issues problems. being around. I, I mean, I like the smell of cigarettes. Uh, cigarettes. I'll take a cigarette and smell it. But we didn't realize when we left the house, we got in our car, it took weeks of vacuuming and cleaning and putting all kinds of stuff down we had we had a new car smell that was no longer mm -hmm. a new car mm -hmm. smell we brought our clothes we, we wore our clothes into our house threw our clothes in the hamper now our house half of our house smells like cigarettes and we're like oh my god so bunny now has um wherever we go it doesn't matter Family, friends, pineapple world. She brings um, garbage bags, like the heavy-duty lawn and leaf garbage bags. And then when when we're getting ready to leave, we will change either we'll change just before we walk out the door and put all of our stuff in the garbage Correct. bag, mm -hmm. seal it up, and put it in the trunk, get it home, and immediately it goes in the washing machine. We don't even open the bag till it's ready to go in, and it all goes in at once. Right, that way it's not embedded into our into our clothes on our carpet mm -hmm. on in our hamper or other clothes mm -hmm. our new our clean clothes so yeah how 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 do you, i mean there are where we live there's a lot of smokers oh yeah well you know we came from california where it was a hit or miss it was a hit or miss and you know everybody is so health conscious, health conscious that there wasn't nearly as much smoking in California as, as in there the south. in the south. The south, are like we're in the Nashville area, so we're right on the border of Kentucky, which is the tobacco yeah. industry of the world. And like you said, um, it's nothing against smokers. We're just kind of letting you guys know, too, to be conscious. If of, you're a smoker. If you're a smoker of the non-smokers. Or if, you know... If you're kissing somebody and they kind of push you away, maybe you might want to brush your teeth or say, oh, I'm sorry, did I do something to offend you? Most people aren't going to tell you. Uh, most people won't, but they then might start avoiding you. And I mean, you guys might have a great relationship, and all of a sudden, it's, you're, it's a friend zone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... Um, but I always carried a toothbrush and toothpaste when we'd go to clubs and everything because I knew I would be transferring that. Absolutely. Now, on the flip side, we're going to go on still with the bad breath. Well, the other thing that people don't realize that gives you bad breath is fruit drinks. And so when you're out... Veggies on a veggie uh -huh. bar. Veggies on a veggie bar. <laughs> Broccoli. That's what I'm saying. Pickles. <laughs> Onions. Onions. And you know what? I, we do have a very good friend out there, and he runs a club out there, too. And 
he came up one time to kiss me, and he goes, oh, I smell onions. And I go, is there an issue? I just got done eating lunch. He goes, I'm highly allergic to onions. I said, well, then it wouldn't be a wise decision to come up and just kiss me anytime food's around because I like onions and I'm going to eat them. But now I'm conscious of always brushing my teeth after I eat because if he's allergic to onions, what if somebody else is allergic to something? And speaking of allergic, this off topic for a half a second, but we found out Bunny was allergic to Diet 7-Up. Apparently, it's a big thing. There are a lot of people allergic to Diet 7-Up. And I liked Diet 7-Up over Sprite um, and with mixed drinks and everything. And when I would kiss Bunny, she would start breaking <clears throat> out and have to have Benadryl. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, 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 it's just something that I just thought about when you were talking about right. the guy with the onions. And, and it's funny because I learned um, firsthand that vodka cranberry leaves a horrible, horrible taste in your mouth. We'll just go into a little personal. We were sharing Tom, me and another girl, and and I couldn't do it because <laughs> I kept gagging because after she was done, it tasted horrible. Oh, I could see that. Mm -hmm. um, now, we're talking about bad breath. Yes. Okay. The comments on below I could see on this would be offer a breath mint. It doesn't always work. No. Um, no. We carry, we, we have stock in a mint company, I think, because we have mints everywhere. <laughs> now, I'll tell people when I, when I go to take a mint, it's more for me because I get self-conscious talking this close to somebody. And I'll offer the mints around. I'll say, you don't need one, but would you like one? Mm -hmm. I'll tell them that. But if I don't say those magic words and I say, oh, would you like a mint? That is my hint to take a mint. But if they don't take a mint, we, we don't want to be rude. And everyone, everyone always says, it's the lifestyle. Everyone has to be honest and they got to accept it. No, no, no. It's a, that's just politically correct statements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, people... People that are that honest probably don't have a lot of friends <laughs> because they think that their honesty um, helps people. But we do want to be honest, but we also don't want to offend. So we're, we're actually asking for your advice on this. But, you know, it, and, it, and it's the truth, though. I mean, if we are going to play with somebody, Tom will say, hey, let's all go clean up a little bit first. Yes. That means... Like, take a whole shower. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean just washing your hands and your... I mean, anything that could have sweat in it from dancing. Um, I mean... Tom's a germaphobe. I'm a germaphobe, but... I, I mean, I don't want to smell sweaty butt. No. Is that outward, forward? That is. So, that is. I say, I mean, we have friends... Um, that our host for our company and we did a podcast with them and we the podcast is somewhere out there called shower fresh and he talks about taking the sh all of our shower heads have the wand mm -hmm. so we can mm -hmm. manipulate it around our body and we called that video our the um, podcast shower fresh and he talked about winding up the down the crack <laughs> of his butt and everything and it's the truth it's something it that truth. people should be able to talk about openly and honestly but nobody wants to but you know <laughs> on the flip side if somebody said to me we went from breath to butt crack <laughs> well and that's what this video is about <laughs> i know i know but it's just kind of from the top to the bottom, to the bottom we're gonna cover fast. everything <laughs> If somebody said to me, hey, you might, you want to go wash up a little bit? You're a little bit musty. Perfect. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to be offended. Right. I'm going to be offended if they leave and they go say, hey, don't, don't play, play with, with her, her. Because. I had somebody stop me one time and tell me, hey, uh, go wash up because you got toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It was a little embarrassing because everybody gets but embarrassed of a little toilet paper, You were embarrassed by natural. one person instead of an audience. Exactly. So that's, exactly. A, that's a huge difference. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, 
there are people that have come up to us saying, hey, you might not want to play with that couple. They smell. Did you tell them? No. Well, but you're telling me not to play with them. So mm -hmm. it's okay to tell mm -hmm. me something negative about someone else, but not tell them privately so somebody else isn't going around telling people not to play with them. I'm just saying no, no. the fact is what you see and hear everywhere about in the lifestyle, no means no, and um, no reason why. That is true. You don't have to give a reason why. You just no. say, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> we, were at the, we were at a club this weekend, and we had an amazing time, by the way. We had so much fun at this club. So we were at the Corral in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. It's a, small, it's a big club. Um, but it's a very small, close-knit close community. Uh -huh. And when you go there, you are made, you're, you're, you feel welcome mm -hmm. from the get-go. Absolutely. But I, I was in an all-girl conversation, and somebody said, yeah, I'll, I can't remember how she said it. I'll check your hoo-ha or something like that. And I'm like, excuse me? She goes, yeah, my friends want to go downstairs and play, and they're not really sure. She goes, I'll smell them. To tell them if they're clean or not. I know who that was. And I'm like, that's awesome. Because I know who that was because <laughs> Bunny was doing something and this girl, Bunny was bent over. And I slapped Bunny on the butt and she goes, oh, I just want to go face deep in her ass. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like. I, I was thinking, I, should I tell Bunny maybe she should make sure she's like clean 24 <laughs> seconds of, of every minute so that way if she dives in. <laughs> but I thought, that is awesome. I, everybody should be like that. Uh, they, everyone should have a wing woman or a wing man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but yeah, the um, so the bad breath thing, again, to me it kind of correlates with smokers, but there are a lot of people that, might have bad. If we have bad breath, we've had people come up to us after we've eaten something, we're talking, we're not thinking sideways, and they're like, you might want to go get some mouthwash. Thank you. Yes. We thank personally you. don't take offense. No, no. But we, we also know some people can't handle um, constructive help. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say criticism. I um, always, I always joke and. <laughs> Um, I'll be like, hey, you want to go do a shot of fireball? It's like, it's like mouthwash. Oh, that's Bunny's code for <laughs> let's go clean our breath out. Because <laughs> we'll, we, we can always kiss cinnamon. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we don't want to kiss cinnamon kills oh, everything. cranberry vodka. Oh, yeah. But, and I've learned that one from, you know, being in the club scene for 25 plus years. Right. Uh, that, that, that fruit juice, yes, definitely. We'll leave a funk in your mouth. If you're if you're watching us on YouTube right now on one of our videos, if you notice this little pink thing right here, that's Bunny's microphone. Just so you know, if you're wondering, is that the tip of a something? Yeah, no, that's Bunny's microphone. That's I'll, my I'll microphone. move it out so people can see I'm, it a little bit more because it looks like a total. Um, there was something -L -L else. On. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not one, not one of those. Not on the desk. So now um, the body odor, some clubs have showers, some clubs don't. Correct. And that's where Bunny was talking about. We talked about shower fresh. The couple we did the podcast with, they, and me and Bunny, we say some of our very, very most memorable and best experiences we've ever had, ever, were by, were with. All of us who just took a shower and just started playing right after the shower. Right, because you're definitely a lot fresher. You're a lot cleaner. Like yeah. you said, you haven't been dancing all day. You haven't been on a motorcycle. We don't motorcycle. have nothing in the back of our mind Yeah. that we're going to have to endure mm -hmm. to get through the mm -hmm. situation. So now you're not enjoying it as much as you should. Now, a lot of clubs will supply um, in the ladies' room like wet wipes. Um, I think that's a great thing, but don't, some clubs don't flush are, them. well, some clubs are on them. septic, so mm -hmm. um, we had to replace all of our septics due to all the wet wipes and condoms that got flushed down our toilets at our club. Yes. That was yes. like $50,000. It was, and they had to do the leech, they had to do everything. everything. It was crazy. 
Because even they, even though they say they're flushable, it doesn't matter when you're flushing that many. I mean, yeah, we're talking <laughs> on an hundreds of women set. in a club in one night, and you're open five nights a week. That's a lot of wet wipes that don't degrade that fast. And also, too, uh, especially you ladies out there, remember that if you're going to try something new, if you're going to try like the FDS spray or um, any of your DO. UCHs, remember that some of those things may not react to your body well. No, no. So thing. it might make it worse. Right. Yeah, no, exactly what Bunny's saying. Um, with women, you could have a yeast infection, you could have a bacterial infection. And if you use something like that, we've seen people use mouthwash. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please yeah. don't mask things. If you are having a an issue such as that, Bow out for the night. Yes. Get get Please everything do. treated. Take the right medication. Do whatever you need to do. Take a week off and come back fresh. <laughs> but don't put mouthwash on it for someone like me to go down. That <sighs> It's happened. Well, we, I, I, I won't <laughs> name names. It's happened. But somebody we know, mm -hmm. very close, his wife had a yeast infection. Mm -hmm. And then he, she transferred it into his mouth. And then he transferred it back, and it went back. And it took a long time for honesty to break out, the doctor to ask the right question. And it was because they were just transferring it back and forth. The last thing I want to do is take your yeast infection and transfer it to Bunny. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Or another no. woman. But the last thing I want to do is be the carrier. Well. And an and, un... Uh, educated carrier. Well, <laughs> years and years and years ago, we did play with a couple who had a bacterial infection and didn't tell us until I Tom was, found out the hard way. I, I was mouth deep in it. Yeah. And and then... Bunny was smelling herself. I was like... <laughs> because it was so pungent. Mm -hmm. I I... It wasn't a, a scene of just doing it just to be an A. Um, I literally had to jump up and run to the bathroom, and right, I, I did. Right. I did and, throw up on that one. And we bowed out that that, that night. night, and then the and, next and, day, and they were with us for a week, so yeah. we bowed out every single. And then day. the next day, she said something, and I we said, said something to her. Yeah, and she goes, "Oh yeah, well my doc, I got it." internal scratch and it turned into a bacterial infection and the doctor said i'm good and i'm like oh, well Not you still us. might need you to might do be some good, more things but we weren't privy to that information mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um but yeah we, we we didn't know how to say something and we kept saying something about which let's go get do douches <laughs> let's uh What's the pill for back or? The, oh, I even asked her. I said, "Did you do a betadine douche?" <laughs> I mean, anything. We were offering anything, ev everything, all and kinds she's of like, "Oh no, I'm fine." N no, you're really not. Fine. When when two people that you barely know are bringing it up and offering suggestions, take that as there, you're you, there's something wrong. But you know what? Because if they're willing to say something like that. There's something really wrong. Years ago, um, at Freedom Makers, the girls were allowed to dance on the bar. And we would see girls, the same girls every night, and sometimes we would see new people coming to the club. They've been married for all these years, you know. And There's only one requirement. You couldn't wear clothes on my bar. No, no. But we would have, you know, women in there that would come in and they would... I, would, I could tell that they had a bacterial infection because I could smell it. But they didn't know it because they, they couldn't feel it. You know, it, they, she said, oh, I've been smelling like this for a couple months now. I literally, when one woman came down off the bar, I told her, I said, hey, you might want to go call your doctor. Did they find a tampon up her? No, that was somebody different. Okay, sorry. I said, you might want to You might want to contact your doctor. I says, because I'm telling you right now, you have a bacterial infection or you've got something going on with your pH balance. Because if Bunny can smell it, 
at the floor level and they're up on the bar standing that's a long distance mm -hmm. and she did come back a, a week or two later and she's like hey i just want to thank you she goes yes i do have this this and this going on and and the doctor treated it and now i'm and now i'm fine but you know if you're living with it for a couple months and you just kind of get used, used to, it, to it and forget you never about realize kind of like yeah. a smoker mm -hmm. i i didn't really realize it yeah. And um and the, now the that kind of goes with body odor. Absolutely it does. Um one of the things that it's going to I mean nobody wants to hear it. Well, it's stuff that people should talk about. If you go use the restroom and you do the dirty, toilet paper isn't going to clean it. No. Toilet paper is just going to you're going to take a majority of it off you but you're going to just smear everything else that's where the shower fresh comes in so if you use the bathroom don't think oh it'll be okay no we could smell it and you know a <laughs> lot of a lot of clubs supply washcloths Right. They at least apply washcloths or you could bring your own sink. wipes but what i have found in the past is they supply washcloths, and when it comes time to play, the women go down and wash themselves, but the men don't. The men don't. But you're sweating all night, and you've got little cojones up there, and you've got everything else that is creating a sweat pocket. It's going to be musty. All that nastiness that you just wiped off your bum is going to smell even worse when someone's face is three inches from there. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, like I said, it's a touchy subject, but it, it is out I, there. I've told Bunny. And it happens. Yeah, no, I told Bunny, if she's ever down there and the odor is just too pungent, just let me know and we'll bow out. Mm -hmm. I, I, the pineapple stuff for us is sport. Mm -hmm. Can I call it sport? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's not... It, we, we don't live at 24 hours a day, even though we kind of do because we book travel to, mm -hmm. but see, what we call it lifestyle friendly resorts and right. stuff like that. Um, we don't run a lifestyle club no more, but we don't, ha we are fine with just each other. We know how clean each other is. We could tell each other without any issue. Um, hey, <laughs> let's, let's walk through a quick shower. And Tom will tell me that. Hey, uh, I'm about ready for bed. Why don't you go wash up? Yeah, because if you go doggy, <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I know you're just saying. And, and it's just a lot of things that people don't talk about. No, and they should. It, it should be a discussion. Um, it's kind of like ED. Nobody talks about ED. And this is off subject. Nobody talks about ED. But many people have it, mm -hmm. but nobody wants to talk about it. So meanwhile, a lot of people suffer in this oh, lifestyle yeah, they do. because they, they really don't do. want to admit it and they don't want to talk about it. That's why me and Bunny are very pro advocates about my conditions. We're not embarrassed, but if it helps somebody, that is our ultimate goal. If we mm -hmm. help one person, as our doctor says, his life's goal is to give every male an erection. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to give every male an erection, but I want to help, like him, to achieve help him achieve it. erections. <laughs> Does that sound better? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. All right. <laughs> I wonder what people are thinking when they're hearing this on podcast. <laughs> they're real people. They're real. We are real people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you email us, we give real answers. Uh, but... Body odor, there's not much we can do on body odor except kind of avoid the situation. Again, help us, help us, help us. Tell us how you would tell somebody without offending them. Don't get on a testosterone high horse. Just, no, seriously. No, I know, I know that. I, I, know I that. don't want to be the a hole. I want to be the nice guy to help someone. To, so we can either have a good time or they can have a good time with someone else. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. And I, and, you know, and I understand the situations too, like when you're playing and you're sweating, of course, smells are going to come out. 
that's completely 100% normal. Right. And you're in the heat of the passion. But if you roll up to somebody and you're like, hey, you want to go play downstairs? And you're like, then I'm like, no. Yeah, especially at 2 in the morning after they've been dancing for five straight hours in the humid humidity of Louisiana on Bourbon Street. That too. That no, too. I'm just then, using that as an example. Or, or let's go this way. Let's go this way. Going back to the bad breath. If you've been downstairs playing downstairs, if you've been playing with anybody, yeah, we called our anybody, old club. The playrooms were called downstairs because you had to go down like six or nine steps to go to the playroom. But literally, if you've been downstairs playing with somebody, we don't want to play with you unless you've no, cleaned up. It's, I'm not going there. Hush. Okay. If you've been downstairs playing with somebody, male or female, it doesn't matter. And you're going to come up and talk to people. Make sure that you wash your face. So, I've, so I, I've, got a, I got a story on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, we talked about the, our bar earlier. And one day, I there was 10 girls sitting on the bar, edge of the bar. And we were doing body shots. Mm-hmm. And our boss at the time did a body shot off of each and every single one of the 10 girls. Every one of them, back to back to back to back. But we were all alcoholics back then. Yes. Um, And she's not an alcoholic, but back then we were weakened alcoholics. Weakened warriors. Weakened warriors. And she she came over to high-five me. She high-fives me and says something. I went, whoa! She goes, what? I'm like, your breath smells like 10 shades of. <laughs> so that, w- that was the joke for years. <laughs> she would come up and go, do I smell like 10 shades? <laughs> do I need to go brush my teeth? And for years, and but she took it in stride. Yeah. So, and the way it came around, nobody would have been offended on that. No, no. And you go down but... on 10 girls at once, your, your breath isn't going to smell like cherries no no but i've had guys come up to give me a kiss and i can smell it in their mustache yes and i've i've even had guys kiss me and it's still wet oh. all right <laughs> so yes but we still got to talk about it so if you're if you're done playing wash up and wash your face brush your teeth <laughs> and wash it with soap and water yeah not just water no don't just a Good, good enough. No, that doesn't. That's just a rinse. <laughs> so a funny story on stuff getting stuck in your mustache. <clears throat> we were at Hito a couple years ago, and like I said, Tom is a germaphobe. Um, and uh, he doesn't. If you've got a body part in the water, he doesn't want to lick that body part. No. In the water. This is Bama, by the so, way. So yeah, they Bama. came up. They came up with whipped cream, and we all both just kind of backed away. Well, this one guy grabbed the can, put it on his wife's nipple, and he's like, "Tom, you have to," and pushed Tom's head down. So he did it. He obliged and everything. I'm a nice guy. Well, he didn't go wash off his mustache. About an hour later, he's talking to me, and I'm like, "Good she lord!" She started gagging. I was gagging off of talking to him. And this is where I didn't know. I didn't smell it. (laughs) His mustache smelled like curdled milk. It was horrible. It was one of those whipped creams with (laughs) alcohol in it. Yeah, but it was, it just stuck in the mustache and his his stunk to high heaven. And I'm like, don't even, I'm like, just wash that crap with soap and water really good and scrub it. Yep. So guys, scrub your mustache and your beards. Now, that's another thing about body odor, but cleanliness, is we all know that um, there are a lot of pools out there. (laughs) We also know many people don't leave the pool ever for hours. And therefore, you got all the sunscreen, you know what's going in that water because people are drinking all day long and they're plastered. I don't want to go down on you right out of that pool. Let's go take showers and clean up and then. But people will go down people on the edge of the pool. That's fine. I, I don't judge nobody. Mm-hmm. I just don't want to do it. 
You'll let people do it to you. I'll let people do it to me. If they, if they <laughs> want to do it, they say, go up to the edge of the pool. And I'm like, are you sure? You know, I don't care. Okay, I'll get up there. But I probably won't kiss them afterwards. <laughs> and that's not being an a-hole. That's just no. me being a germaphobe. Yeah, and super clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he does take two, two to three, sometimes four showers a day. I do. I, I mm-hmm. actually do take several showers a day. Um, just because I think I feel we work from home. Mm-hmm. So I'm at home all day. I might be out in the yard for a little bit and I come in and I'll just like, yeah, I'll just go take a shower real quick. I want to smell nice for bunny. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my excuse. It's funny. I will be out do, <laughs> doing yard work. When we do yard work, I make sure that all our window blinds are closed. So we come up, do yard work immediately, come up the stairs into our from the garage right to the laundry room, strip everything down right into the wash. Buck naked. Buck naked. Head up to the showers. Yep. Because in the heat of the, July in Nashville, it can get 100 degrees and <laughs> 100% humidity, it seems. <laughs> so you go out there, you are just profusely sweating. Yes. Yes. All right. So... Basically, that's what we're in. How are you going to approach somebody and let them know? Tell hey. us how we should do it because while we consider ourselves, I, I don't consider ourselves educators. No. Um, there's a lot of people that want that title of educator and they want to be educators. That's uh, just okay. a pop-up. They, they they want that. We, we don't want that. We, we just want to talk about real things like we'll go on a panel for my ED or mm-hmm. my implants, stuff yes. like that. Yes. But we're not going to really go on a panel and say, this is how it runs and this is politically correct, the consent and all this other stuff, because everyone has a different way of viewing things. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, they do. Everybody everybody is completely different yep. in their own right. So even us, we learn. From, from everybody. From you. Mm-hmm. Experience is a big learning tool. Right. And if you could leave a comment, that would be awesome. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, send us your questions and we'll do our best to answer. Mm-hmm. Um, more importantly, we're just going to call this one an end. I don't know how long we've been talking for. I'm going to put my glasses on. 37 minutes. Wow. <laughs> we could talk. We can talk. So... I don't know how you're hearing this or viewing this, but definitely check out all of our social media. YouTube, Twitter slash X, our X formerly Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and our website. Just search Tom and Bunny. I'll put it on the screen. Mm T-O-M-A-N-D-B-U-N-N-Y. Just like that. No spaces. Or go to TomandBunny.com. Okay. And we have links to all our social media and uh, as well as links to some of the popular matchmaker sites. All right. So I do have a final one because you're always like, if you listen to it. Let me put back Tom's trips on there because they're the ones sponsoring the video. (laughs) You always say, if you've listened to it this far, then Ah. answer this question. So so now that we're talking about this unit. Funky smells and stuff like this. I seen somebody the other day on TikTok was making money by selling her smelly socks. I can go for that. Right. Two ways. I can go to the gym and and get in shape and lose money, lose weight, and I can sh- sell my smelly socks. So who would buy them? Would you buy my smelly socks? And just the comment could be, yes, we would buy your smelly socks or... No, we are not interested in your smelly socks. <laughs> because what what's going to happen is people aren't even going to see the video. They're going to see the comments and go, what is this about? And that's going to be our best clickbait. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. So until next time. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon.